and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name's Lauren, and in today's video, I'm going to do a quick review on uh, my Madewell Francis loafers. So if that sounds good to you, just keep on watching. So the Madewell Francis loafer. It retails for about $150, and the sale, like seasonal colors, usually go down to about $60 when they're trying to get rid of old color inventory. When I bought mine, it was June of 2018? Yes, I think so. So these were the first pair of shoes that I bought at Madewell. I had bought my Madewell transport tote already and I was super happy with that. So I was like, all right, let me buy a pair of shoes. And I had a, a pair of black loafers that I wore into the ground and had resold multiple times, but they kind of got very old and decrepit so I was like all right let me buy another pair of loafers and let let it be like a really nice pair so that the they last as well as the ones that I'm getting rid of so I did a little bit of research and I ended up choosing the Madewell Francis loafer because they were a great shape I love a nice pointed toe there wasn't any uh, hardware a very basic design and you know leather just like easy and so I decided to take the plunge and buy this pair. I ended up using a gift card and they probably had some sort of like deal going on uh, so I ended up picking these up I believe for $75. My favorite part about this shoe is it goes with everything. Because it's this like nice black leather, it doesn't scratch that easily. I'm looking at it now and there's like one scratch, but you can only see, see it if you like look in the light. So pretty, pretty like durable shoe for like a leather loafer. I feel like they're, they're holding their, the leather quality is holding up very well. With other shoes I get like kind of um, like a scrape or a scuff usually on the inside here and I, I don't have that with these and like I said there's just not that many scratches there's not that much like wear that can be seen from the leather in the fact that it's not like scratched or scuffed obviously they are worn that you can tell by the wrinkling that's in the toe on both of these shoes uh, I know some people don't like that, but I love the way that that looks. I feel like it looks like your shoes are molding to your foot, they're well loved, and it's just like, I don't know, it doesn't bother me. I feel like it adds to the character of the shoe. The bottom of the shoe, I feel like is getting a lot of wear. The heel itself is rubberized, so um, there's not as much wear, but the actual ball of the foot, I think maybe next winter maybe um, I might get them resold just because I see there's like a big dent I don't know I'm, I'm gonna see how long I can wait before I get them resold but I'm definitely going to get them resold uh, before I ever decide to get rid of them because I just love them so much the inside of the shoe is also holding it pretty well it's definitely like getting a little bit worn but it's not like falling apart. Sometimes you see with shoes that you wear a ton, the inside just disintegrates and you can see like the hole where your heel is and it just like isn't to that point yet. Granted, I've only had them for a year and a half, so it's not like gonna be to that point, I guess. I don't know, I guess for some shoes after a year it'll really look like very worn, but I feel like these don't have that that look. So another thing that I really love about these shoes is the make of the shoe. It feels like, it doesn't feel heavy, but definitely feels like it has the weight of a well-made material, like a well-made product. It doesn't feel like very flimsy, like the leather itself feels very thick. The sole of the shoe feels like it's securely on the shoe. I don't know, I just feel like there's some products that you touch and you're like, this isn't well-made, but I want it. This is a, a product that I touched and I was like, oh man. This is nice. This is probably expensive. I'm going to tell you the only thing I didn't like about this shoe, and it was how long it took me to break these in. So like I said, I got these shoes in June, and I didn't really start wearing them until like August of that year because it was so hot. 
um, in June and July of 2017 that I just didn't, I just didn't wear them that much. But also, even starting in August, I didn't wear them that much because they were so uncomfortable. Holy crap. And now looking back, I feel like I should have gotten a nine and a half because that's what they even tell you. Well, they weren't selling them on Nordstrom's website, but on Nordstrom's website, they'll kind of tell you what the sizing is, like if it's true to size or if it runs small or big. And on Nordstrom's website, they suggest that you buy a half size bigger. Um, and I don't think I did that. No. I just bought a nine. And I feel like I'm a true nine. And maybe I should have bought a nine and a half just looking back because it took me, it feels like it took me at least six months to break these in. They are so, they were so uncomfortable. I would get blisters on the back of my foot. I would get blisters, I feel like, on the side. It was just like, because the leather was so thick and stiff, it was just hard to break it in. And it was like really painful. There's only one other pair of shoes that was more painful to break in. Actually, there was two pairs of shoes and they were both faux leather. So I just had this expectation that um, like real leather shoes just didn't take as long to break in. And so I was like, oh, like I'll wear these like twice and they'll be broken in and then I'll, they'll be the most comfortable shoes ever. Like I said, it took me six months to break these in and it was a hard six months. Like I'd wear them once and then I have to wait like at least a week or two and then I'd wear them again. And I was just, I was just committed. I was like, I'm, these are beautiful. They're such high quality. Like I'm, they're going to be comfortable. But I, I knew since they were real leather that they, they, they do have some give. I mean, when you buy a leather jacket, a lot of companies will kind of fit it a little smaller so that when you wear it and as you use it, it kind of releases and loosens and molds to the wearer's body. So I was kind of hoping that would happen here and it did. Finally, I feel like I would have gotten there a little bit faster if I had gotten a nine and a half, but whatever, you know, maybe if I ever buy another pair, I'll go for the nine and a half. But until then, these are the ones that I ended up with. So yeah, so it took me six months to break these in, but now they're super comfortable. They're shoes that I wear when I don't know what to wear. Um, I really go to these a lot. I feel like they're a really professional shoe, but so easy to style, you know, jeans, skirts, dresses, trousers, anything, they'll kind of go with this. Uh, the only kind of styling that I don't really pair with these are like more of a feminine kind of girly aesthetic. I don't really generally pair these with. I'll kind of go either just like jeans and a t-shirt these go with, make things look a little more, little more polished, or when I want to do like more of an androgynous, more masculine look, I'll go to these also just because it's kind of like a clean, easy um, menswear sort of silhouette. So overall, uh, <coughs> oh, I think my voice just cracked. Overall, I think if you buy them for $150, you will absolutely get 150 wears out of these. How about that? But I don't know if they're the most comfortable. Like there's a pair of shoes by the brand Aerosols. It's their East Side Loafer, and I don't own it, but I really, have had my eye on it in the brown. Those, I, I felt them in store and they're like this really soft, delicious leather, but maybe they scratch. <coughs> I'm sorry, maybe they scratch more than this. That's the one thing, like, I feel like what you're paying for with the $150 is the, the material being able to stand up to a long, owning for a long time. Like, I, I feel like these are something that I'm gonna have for at least the next five years for sure just because it's already been a year and I feel like they're just getting better. So I think if you have the money to invest and loafers are a shoe that you really already know and love, if you if you don't know if you're gonna wear loafers, I would suggest buying a pair that's maybe less expensive to make sure that you really love that styling. And then if you do, then I would go and pick up something that's like a bit, uh, a lot higher quality just to make sure that you're gonna, this is gonna fit your style. Because it is, it's expensive, it's an expensive shoe. But I really feel like this is something that's super timeless and it's a high quality shoe and 
you'll get a lot of wear out of it if this is your style. Alright guys, that's my review of the Madewell Francis Loafer. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you want to see more from me, I put out new videos every Sunday, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!